Hello, this is Alton Crawford coming to you in the 2017 Volvo XC90. Today we're going to have a little fun. We're going to go over the semi-autonomous pilot. Now, semi-autonomous pilot actually keeps a safe distance. Whatever distance you set, you do that from the steering wheel. Shows on your dash. And whatever distance you set behind the car in front of you, it's going to keep that distance. And it's going to keep you in the center of your lane. Now that's a little bit different from the lane keeping assist with Volvo because the lane keeping assist does not react until you start to approach that lane until your tires are pretty much right over the lines then it reacts and it bounces you back into your system. Now it's not a abrupt bounce. I absolutely love it for those that love to text and drive even though it's against the law. I absolutely love it because it keeps you in your lane even when you're going at slower speeds. Semi-autonomous driving will basically react when you're in cruise control. And there again, the plus of it, it keeps you in the center of your lane and it keeps you a safe distance behind the car in front of you, plus it reacts to that car. So we're coming up on a green light here where it's CPC, as you can actually see behind me. We're gonna go ahead and take off. And just keep an eye on the road. I'm gonna bring you back and forth from the road to behind the steering wheel. As you can see, I'm pretty comfortable nestled in here. Temperature here in Charlotte is beautiful today. It's right at 60 to 70 degrees. It's supposed to reach a high of about 80. So we're gonna go back to the road, Independence Boulevard, one of the main arteries here in Charlotte. And just gonna come over. Now I'll show you here. Setting my cruise, center button on the left side, dead smack center. So that's actually set, shows on the dash there. Don't know if you can actually see that, but my steering wheel turns green. There's a little icon right in the bottom left of the dash. Steering wheel turns green just to let me know I'm semi-autonomous semi driving. I can shift, sorry about the waiver. I'm gonna move the iPad around here a little bit. I can shift the distance I wanna follow the car in front of me from here. So I'm gonna move it up and you can see it down in the bottom left-hand corner, which is right here. You can see it there, and I'm going to go to the shortest distance. Now, notice the steering wheel, the green icon there. That just lets me know semi-autonomous pilot is in play. My speed, which is the lower speed there in the gray, is 62. The larger speed, which is white, is digital. Now, I'm going to go up to increase my speed here once. You can see it. I just increased to 65. Now, once I'm there, now I'm going to... Volvo is going to force you to hold on to the steering wheel. Now, take a look at the road. Now, I'm very lightly holding on to the steering wheel. If I let go, it will actually do this as well. It keeps me right in the center of my lane in semi-autonomous driving. Now, if I'm holding the steering wheel, now notice the green light has actually went out. That just let me know that I released the steering wheel. So what did the vehicle do? It canceled me. So you cannot release the steering wheel if you're doing a semi-autonomous pilot. Definitely remember that. So if you buy one for a friend, relative, daughter, son, or wife, and they have a bad habit of wanting to drive without their hands on the steering wheel, perhaps they're preoccupied with something else, don't worry. The vehicle will actually cancel them out of it to where they have to keep, at least keep their hands on the steering wheel even if they're distracted. Now, coming up on traffic in front of me, so I'm going to zoom back out so you can actually see. Now, I, I've actually released the steering wheel, and I'm going to do it once more. Yeah, I got a little excited there. I always love when I do it. I always love seeing the car drive by itself. So coming up, you can see the car in front of me. Now, it's going slower, so the car itself has actually slowed down. My foot's off the gas. I can't show you that. It's rather dark down there. You wouldn't be able to see anyway. Trust me there. Foot's off the gas. I'm going to actually turn on my left turn signal. So now the vehicle starts to speed up a little bit because it can sense that I am changing lanes. And I am going to go back into semi-autonomous driving or cruise control. Now I'm doing 70. Turn signal was still on, so it allowed me to pass across the line. Now notice my hand. I'm not holding on to it. You can see my fingers. So it keeps me in my lane, and we're coming around a curve here, which is very impressive because it's gonna hold me in that curve. If you're in lane keeping assist, it does not hold you into the curve. Now, I don't wanna go that direction, so I'm gonna take control of the steering wheel. I'm gonna go back to cruise control, the semi-autonomous driving one more time, just to show you. Of course, I don't wanna go 70. And there are no lines, so it's gonna allow me to drift and actually hit the grass area if I don't hold on to it. That is a perfect example of the semi-autonomous drive. 